so in this video we are going to continue with our mobile app for the project better buys okay so up until the previous video we have made the splash screen and we also have the sellers screen okay and if we click on any of the seller we go to the products that they offer the products screen basically okay so now over here we have the products okay the list of products uh, this image is not loading i don't know why i think i think the image is no more on my server i'll put it but okay so we have the products now let's make a screen where we show the details or if if you if you remember from our design uh, just give me a minute let's let me bring the design yeah so if you remember from the design we have this uh, product screen and then we have the product details screen okay so here we intend to show the details of this products okay if you remember the prototype was okay so i don't think the prototype is here but i'll tell you what the general idea was so if we click on any of the product we need we will come to this product details page and over here we can see the details of the product we can add it to cart and we can buy now so yes the most popular and what's the word around is still remaining and we'll get back to it once we have sufficient data like for most popular we need to know what uh, who which uh, product has the most interaction count and until then we can't make this and then subsequently this as well okay so this is the uh, product details screen and we are gonna make the ui for it now okay and along with this when we click over here the interaction count should also be increased okay so let's get started so first i'll create a new screen okay a new file in the screens folder it will be called product details screen i'm sorry product details screen dot dot okay now over here we'll now over here we'll create a stateless widget okay so the idea is that we always create a stateless widget and convert it to stateful widget whenever needed so the class name is also gonna be the same product screen details okay now all these are warning because we have a missing import statement so import material okay and the warning is gone now over here inside this container i'll simply create a child and a text that says product product details screen so as uh, so as to check if the navigation is working properly or not okay so this is not that is all gonna be there but this is just for checking okay so i'll save this now another thing that i miss over here is creating the route name so i'm gonna write static const route name and it is gonna be product details screen okay so now that we have that let's add this route in our uh, app widget okay and inside the routes section so for that first we need to import it so i'm simply gonna write import screens and product details screen dot dot okay and similarly over here i am gonna add product details i'm sorry product details screen dot okay why is it not changing the color did i not save this okay so you can see the spelling is wrong over here actually so it needs to be u okay just please forgive me for this so yes okay let me save this and now we have product details screen route name okay is the name still wrong product screen details okay 
हाँ आई एम सॉरी सो प्रोडक्ट स्क्रीन एक्चुअली इट शुड बी प्रोडक्ट डिटेल्स स्क्रीन सो द नेमिंग कन्वेंशन हेयर ओनली इज नॉट राइट सो लेट मी जस्ट चेंज इट प्रोडक्ट डिटेल्स स्क्रीन प्रोडक्ट डिटेल्स स्क्रीन लेट मी सेव दिस एंड नाउ ओवर हेयर आई थिंक इट शुड बी फाइन प्रोडक्ट डिटेल्स स्क्रीन डॉट राउट नेम and then over here we get a con context but since we not don't need it i have put an underscore over here and then over here it is product details screen okay so the part and main main dot app is done let's format it save it now uh, we need to navigate from this section so this is actually a product item this is the widget that we created over here okay so this is the container i guess this is the column that has all the data means like the image the background and the title okay let's confirm so this is the image section and this is the product name so yes so column is our parent widget so what i am going to do is i am going to refactor it and add a container or widget on top of it and the widget is going to be nothing but our gesture detector okay and then if on tap so on tap what i'm going to do is simply write navigator dot of context dot push named and the name is going to be product detail screens route name so let me import that over here import then in screens we have product details screen so over here it is going to be product details screen route name comma and i also want to send the product as the argument okay so and the argument is nothing but product great so let me format this it is almost formatted okay i need to give a semicolon over here now let me format it it is done let's save it okay now i'll do a full restart okay i click on the seller albert einstein and then if i click on cucumber we have product details screen so it is giving warning because we don't have like a proper scaffold over here but the navigation is working that is confirmed okay so let's add a scaffold over here since it is a new screen okay now does the scaffold have a child or a body yes so it has a body and the body is going to be a container okay now let's give a background color to this container to see the size that it is taking okay i don't think we can give it i we can give it a color so let's take any random color for testing control option f to format and then save it and yes it is taking the entire screen so that is actually what we wanted now if i add an app bar okay app bar and then i add a title to it and the title takes a text or a text widget so it takes a widget so over here it is going to be a text widget and let's say title okay let's just see what happens Okay, so we have a title over here. Now in the design, you can see the title is nothing but the product name, and we have a back arrow over here. So let's make that. So for that, first we need the product name over here in the product details screen. So we will uh, import the product that we are sending via this navigator. Okay, so over here first I'll import the model product. Import. come out of screens folder go inside models folder and import 
product so this is a general convention the app level the global level imports go at the top and app level go below it and if dart level imports are there then it goes above this okay so that is that now we have our product over here product product is equal to model model route of context okay then we have settings and then we have arguments and then as to typecast it as product okay so i think it is not settings i don't know why it is giving an error let's see how we did it earlier so in the product screen we took the seller so we just need to give a semi uh, question mark exclamation mark over there okay so uh, in development it is not necessary that you know everything it is how you learn 